variables. Okay, uh, uh, variables is easy because you can find in the question too. The first thing, remember, underline or highlight the variables. So now you can just put the variables inside this question. Small tips here. Don't choose variables that cannot be measured, such as color of flower, type of flower, species of flower. Don't choose this um, physical quantity that cannot be measured. Why? Because you need to explain how to the method to handle the variable later. Method to handle the variable. Okay, we are lucky because there are keywords to answer this kind this kind of question. So manipulate variable. Always write this. Repeat the experiment using different different MV. What is MV? For this question is temperature. Re so repeat the experiment using different temperatures. It's easy as that. And next, responding variable. Measure and record RV using apparatus. If your RV is record using apparatus, you should write measure and record. But if you get your RV by using a formula, then you should write calculate and record RV using formula. What formula? State the formula behind the equal sign. Okay, so for this question, the CRV, the CRV that we taken from the table is time taken for the air bubble to move to position N. So, time taken we use what to measure it? We just use stopwatch, is not? So, we just write measure and record time taken for the air bubble to move to position N by using stopwatch. Okay, remember to include by using what apparatus? Next. Rate of transpiration, which is our ORV that we take from the question. Calculate and record the rate of transpiration by using the formula 1 per time taken for the air bubble to move to position N. Include this formula. And for me, I will suggest you to take CRV because it is more easier and it is more shorter. For CV, constant variable. There are many constant variable, just choose which one is most suitable. I choose length between point M and N, which is 10 cm. So, add this keyword. Fix the CV at what you need throughout the experiment. So, for this question, fix the length between point M and point N at 10 cm that you need throughout the experiment. As easy as this. Hypothesis. So I will recommend you to use this formula. MV plus RV plus relationship. So the RV up to you. You want to write ORV or CRV. So for this question, when the temperature increases, the MV increases, the rate of transpiration, the ORV increases. Or you can write a CRV too. The time taken for the air bubble to move to N increases. So there are other type of experiments where you cannot use this hypothesis such as BOD's calorific value and vitamin C experiment. So for this sample type of experiment, you can use real or for BOD. River A has the highest level of or pollution Sorry, compared to river B and river C. You can see which is the highest compared to the other two MV. So for photosynthesis or enzymatic reaction experiment, you can write the optimum temperature, such as this one. 37 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature for enzyme reaction. Okay, next question is construct table and draw graph. So this is the easiest part to get marks in the entire paper 3. You just need data from the question, from the table and to follow the requirement of the question. Please label your units. So for the most 
questions in biology using these bar charts. You must separate 20, 30, 40 degrees Celsius as you can see. You must separate it. Don't stick it together. Okay, next relationship. Relationship question. Okay, so you must relate the MV and RV. Normally, the question will give you the MV and RV. And you must give them re two reasons. So, for this question, when the temperature increases, the rate of transpiration increases. Why? They want to know why. Because more evaporation from the mesophyll cells take place. Okay, this is the reason one. Causing more water vapor to move up through the stomata to the surroundings. This is the reason two. So, relationship questions, the reasons you can take from inference normally. So, this is biology theory. You need to add biology theory to explain the relationship. Prediction question. This is a famous question too. Okay, in another experiment, the apparatus is placed in the sun. Okay, in the sun, I mean, is the temperature is higher. Predict the observation and explain the results of the experiment. So predictions, you need to give your prediction and give at least two reasons why you predict this answer. Okay, so for prediction question, you should use more than or less than. Don't give a definitely definite answer unless you are confident enough. So for this question, time taken for the air bubble to move from N to N is less than 4 minutes. Why? Because when the temperature increases, the light in intensity increases, causing the rate of transpiration increases. So here I give more than two reasons. And you can add more reasons as long as it is not too far from this subtopic. Operational definition. So this is the question that so-called the hardest question in paper 3. Question 1. So I will explain what is OD. OD is basically what you do and what you see. Let's look at this answer. The rate of transpiration is the time taken for the loss of water in the form of water vapor from the leaves of the plant. So first you must explain the process of this experiment in a short but compact biology theory with biology terms. So just explain what happened, what is the process and after that you must add that result in or shown by, you must add these keywords by CRV. The time taken for the air bubble to move from M to N in the photometer. So this is what you do and what you see. The CRV. And affected by or depends on these keywords is important to by what? On what? The MV temperature. So remember, theory followed by CRV followed by MV. Classification question. So if the question does not provide you table, draw it yourself according to the instructions. So the content in the table not compulsory to be equal. For example, here got six blank space. Not compulsory that each blank space should have one item. Maybe some blank space have three items and the other got zero. It doesn't mind. Just answer this question confidently using your knowledge. That is the end for this video. Thank you. Hit the like button if you like this video and leave your questions at the comment section if you have anything to ask about biology. Thank you.